everybody. Happy Saturday. It is Kaylin and Tori here. Now, a couple weeks ago, we reacted to a Midwestern popcorn salad. Popcorn salad is one of those classic Midwestern dishes that you often find in a trip potluck. What Midwestern? And it's typically made of veggies, popcorn, and mayonnaise. I know some people who put fish in theirs. No, you don't. And no, you, don't. you don't think it's going to work, but then you taste it, and it's really good. And this is a salad that you eat with a spoon. Look at that! That is like crunch on crunch on crunch. <laughs> I love the white cheddar powder in it. <laughs> this salad is gonna crunch. I'll rebuke I it. Mean, it won't be entering cheddar. my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do that today here on Oh I'm Kaylin. Are you excited? Not at all. Yay! <laughs> so it says first season some popcorn with white cheddar powder. Now this is kettle corn, because I didn't have no <laughs> We already starting off wrong. That is not what the thing said. Yeah, put some, put some of that on. That, you are heavy handed. I didn't know that was pour out like that. Child, we need all the help oh we can get. Oh my God, not with that. I'm a choke. That look right. We got a mix. We got uh, the mayo, sour cream. Oh. Why is it separate like that? That's new sour cream. <laughs> Dollop a daisy. And then apple cider vinegar. Mm. How did her nose get through this? And now we need to add our Dijon mustard. Mm. Oh, and a tablespoon of sugar. Boom. That's good. That's that good. That's good. That was That's good. good. Mm -hmm. Some salt and pepper. I guess to taste. I'm not tasting it. Yeah. Okay, I'll do the pepper. Okay. Now remember, salt is white. Yes, yeah, so I'm just you ain't gonna go be able to see it. Great. Okay, then we whisk mm -hmm. that together. <laughs> that don't look that bad. It kind of like, like a like a ranch. It looks like a ranch, but is it gonna taste? Like a ranch. Something in your throat? Yep. <laughs> the smell. <laughs> Apple cider vinegar at the, the back meal. of my throat. <laughs> you said. Yeah, it was going to be very grimly. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is in your throat? <laughs> yeah, that's funky. I was say, don't put your face in that. So we got the, the uh, celery and the shallot here. <laughs> God, that's strong. Uh, that's then we're going to add some of the shredded carrot. OK. And we're going to put that in the ranch stuff. Well, what else we gonna call it? Telling yourself that it's ranch is not gonna make it taste like ranch. I don't think that's gonna work. Put that bowl over there. Oh, we need to chop the snap peas. Yes. You never had a snap pea? Mm-mm. It's supposed to just, I oh, know that's, I'm thinking the wrong thing. What was you thinking of? Edamame. Edamame who? Bye. Is this where peas come from? I mean, it's a snap pea. This, and then they but open it like up, and that's the peas? But I like between peas and snap, snap peas. peas, yeah. Bloop, bloop. Bloop. If nothing else, the preparation gonna be nice. Okay, bon appetit. <laughs> and then we gonna put this in, mix this together too with that. So then we gonna take this and put it into the popcorn, okay? It got bubbles in it. <laughs> it's no way people are serving this. Well, she said they do this in the Midwest, girl, and we both been to Kansas. And did you see this on anybody menu? Not at all. <laughs> I'm gonna fold this into the popcorn. Ooh, you crunching up the popcorn. Okay, we getting somewhere. Yeah, but is it where you wanna be? It doesn't look good, but I know that I mixed it well. Uh, now hand me the watercress. We gotta put that on the top. Here, let's try and make it look at least a little presentational. You know, it's all about the presentation. It so. is, because clearly it's not about the taste. God, that smells terrible. So this would look like, well, we gotta chop up some watercress. Now, I don't know what this is. Me neither. I've never heard of watercress. Is it like a lettuce and cilantro hybrid? Maybe. That's enough. Mm hmm More than enough. Hmm. There's only one step left. <laughs> Time to taste. You go first, because I have to taste mm -hmm. the pesto first. Hell no. So you should go first. Hell no. You, you the guest. The guest always eats first. Bon appetit. Can we do it at the same time? Please. <laughs> is the popcorn soggy? Well, it's been soaking Probably. in mayonnaise. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> I feel like my body is rejecting it. That was terrible. It was sweet. But that mixed with the texture of the popcorn yeah. and everything and, else. And then the onion that's the onion in was, the back of your throat. The shallot was very overpowering. There is a lot going on 
and nothing is right. And nothing goes together. But the popcorn ruins it. Mind you, it's also kettle corn. And it's still in my mouth. Yeah, and I don't like that. I don't either. This is way worse than the chocolate pasta. Wow. Just like I thought. Trash. I believe she made it up. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna have to have a conversation with her because I really wanna know what led her to do this. And also, I really want to know, does she really eat this? I would not serve that to my worst enemy. I would not either. And maybe, uh, maybe, what? Mm, no, I was about I was to say. Like, maybe I, what? I, I was like, well, maybe we would use regular popcorn, not cut a corn, no. Yeah. It still would've been trifling. My taste buds have been traumatized. Destroyed. Oh my God. Bullied, teased, abused. Well, everybody, that was fun. And I'm so happy that we were able to make you laugh today, hopefully. But there is one thing that I want to make sure that I acknowledge. So coming up is the one year anniversary of the killing of George Floyd on May 25th. And I want to make sure that we acknowledge his existence and, and how his death really sparked a social awakening this past summer. And I want to make sure that we continue to lift up the names of the families and also of the victims of police brutality and Black Lives Matter to know that we remember you, we honor you, and we appreciate everything that you are and everything that you stand for. And as always, I'm Kaylin Allen, and I'm just happy to be here.